What up, y'all? Steph, back with another video. Man, we been talking more about this body game thing, man. And um, this is something I experienced yesterday. Um, you know, just like working out in general, man. Um, you know, when you in like great shape because, you know, you put in the work every single day. You know, you get those stares, you know, not just from women, but from other guys, too. And, you know, you don't know what goes on a person's mind. And sometimes it could be respect or it could be jealousy. Right. But one thing I always love to do is, you know, keep myself humble and, um, make sure i always you know i don't i don't tend to bring people down because um it happened to me you know when i was on the slender side back in long island new york uh these two guys at at my job overnight shift were always clowning me and they was like oh i'm this cocky um guy i'm i, I you you won't ever lift this and you won't ever do that and and uh you don't, you know what I'm saying? You're you not, you not ever going to grow in X, Y, and Z, man. And um, I remember that. And I just always X that out of my mind. You know, that's just my hard-headed side. You know, I get that from my father. But, you know, as the years of, you know, being a buck 90, and then I went down to, uh, last time I checked, I think I should be like a buck 62, maybe maybe a buck 60 or anything. That's because of keto diet. Um, I've just been getting more stares and I get, how do I say this? You know, I get a lot of good compliments and I appreciate, you know, everybody at the gym I work at. You know, I really am thankful for that because uh, it, it's not easy to, you know, stay in good shape, right? You know, everybody out there who's working out, man, you know, things happen. You got to work longer hours. Um, You got to miss, you know what I'm saying? Situations happen. You know, there's a lot of men out there who, you know, becoming fathers and everything. And it's like, you know, you won't be this diesel guy as you was before because of those. And one thing, like I always say, I always try to humble myself. And I don't want guys to be like that when you get like over the top, like really in great shape, don't get too cocky, right? Don't, because it's really not worth it. Number one, it creates a lot of jealousy and enemies because you know, they people will start with you when you act like that. And like I said about like those two dudes, one of them, people show a lot of hatred because he was running around with this uh, I, I'm gonna be like this forever mentality. Why are you skinny? Why are you out of shape? Why are you this and that third? But last time I seen him, he looked like he was four months pregnant. And that was one thing I always taught myself was don't be like that. You know, always humble yourself. Always, you know, encourage others, man. Like like yesterday, man, you know, these two guys were always just around me and, you know, just watching the way I work out. And I was just saying to myself, man, they could have worked in with me, man. I don't, I don't mind working out. But one thing I always do is like, I don't tend to do that. You know, I'm always staying focused, locked in and working out. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't ask for the drama and stuff. And honestly too, in the workout community and the fitness community, man, it shouldn't even be like that. Like there's too many cocky, fitness bodybuilders out there. Oh, I'm better than you and this, that, and the third. But, you know, certain things could happen. <laughs> like, I remember one dude when I really was, like, really skinny after losing a lot of weight. Yeah, my neighbor and their dog, Joe. <laughs> and, all right, we can get back into video. Sorry about that, guys. Um, you know, I remember when I was really slender, man, and, you know, I was really just getting into it. I actually got into my first gym. One dude was making fun of me for being, like, one of the most boniest dudes in the gym. And then I literally remember this. Two months later, I guess he 
lifting weights weird or on a squat rack and he just hurt his hip and i haven't seen that dude two years later this is back at home two years later he just gained a ton of weight wasn't really working out and stuff like that all because of cockiness i mean i would probably consider that karma but see that's what i'm talking about because it's like watch what you say because i i tell guys this man this is the absolute truth it is harder to get in the best shape of your life, but it's easy to stop working out. And that's that's a known fact. And when you stop, man, all those gains, all that mass you have, man, it hits right to your stomach, especially, too, when you on that um, creatine stuff, uh, you know, whatever those um, whatever those workout stuff. I, I stopped doing that stuff a long time ago. Um, but yeah, that stuff really messes you up when you stop working out. And I remember seeing that dude, man, I was just like, wow, what happened to him? And then that, and slowly and slowly, I was just really just getting cut up. And now I'm like, you know, I'm in really amazing shape, but I always tell myself I can get better. And, you know, when I'm at the gym and I see everyone who just compliments me and they say, man, looking good you do you taking care of your health you taking care of yourself I, I tell them hey man I'm in here like you are man because you know that's what we're supposed to do especially too in the fitness community in my opinion is you know support one another but you just got those cocky lifters who just think they better because they can deadlift 500 <laughs> like it's it's just it, it's a crazy little world we in but I always just tell guys this, man, don't don't be that guy. Don't because, man, you're going to be looking real foolish. Right. Because at the end of the day, it's your health. At the end of the day, you want to really be in the best shape for your life, not for a short period of time, but for a long period of time. Like I said in other body game videos, you know, to all the men out there who want to have kids and stuff like that. You want to be able to work out with your son as they get older. You know what I'm saying? You want to teach your, your children, you know, the same thing so they can stay in shape. You want to pass along the information. Now, honestly, too, like um, I see a lot of couples in the gym, you know, which has been going on forever. But they're working out with each other. You know, that's that's a good relationship when you two go to the gym and working each other and be the best shape in both of you guys life and that's that's very important i mean i i'm not a relationship type of guy but it's like those things like that you want to do you know what i'm saying and and you can't do that when you stop you know what i'm saying that's why i always tell guys you know get into the best version best shape of your life so you can last for a long time like even even I was um, watching a video on Ron Wells, man, you know, dude caught a stroke, man. And thank, for, thank God for him eating right and working out, you know, getting into the body game stuff, man. You know, he's still alive and still going. And I have a feeling probably next year, year I mean, next year, next month, two months from now, he probably be back in the gym. And this dude older than me. So I'm like, OK, unk, unk in the gym. That means I got to go in the gym even harder. Because, you know, keeping your body active, man, you know, could prevent a lot of things from happening. So what I tell guys all the time is stay in the gym, keep yourself humble, man. Don't get too cocky and, and just really just work on that muscle confusion, man. And that's really it. I'm out.